Hey YouTube, this is Raj, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get the magenta dye in Minecraft, so why don't we get started? So let's talk about how to get the magenta dye in Minecraft. So there's basically four different ways to get the dye, two of them are just mixing dyes together, and the other two ways is through flowers. So if you can tell here, here's the giant table of all the different flowers that are generated and what biomes they generate in. Now, the first one that generates uh, magenta is the lilac. So as you can see here, there's two biomes that the li lilac generates in. And this means it generates at the beginning of the game. And basically you can't grow that uh, crop and you can't use bone meal to create it. So it only really generates and then you can harvest it. So the two biomes I believe are flower forest and also the forest, so birch, forest, etc. So that's one way to get uh, lilacs. The other one is the allium. So allium is this one right here. As you can tell, it only generates in one biome, which is the flower forest biome. So yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly explain how the flower forest biome works. So as you can tell here, here's a somewhat of an illustration of how the flower forest works. Basically, there's this thing called the flower forest gradient. It's basically a pattern, how the flowers uh, are generated when you uh, use bone meal or how they generate in general. Um, what this means is if you removed one of these flowers, like this orange tulip here, you put bone meal down, another orange tulip would uh, appear. This means that actually with certain flowers, you could get a good grouping of it if you want to use a flower farm and you want to specifically farm a certain dye. So as you can see, there's three allium flowers at the corner there. So if you got a good chunk of the same flower, you could, you know, use it to farm that flower. So that's basically how you get uh, that from. <clears throat> the other thing to show you is basically how uh, you can get more out of the lilacs. So as you can tell here, here's a planted lilac. And the thing about this is it doesn't grow. So what happens when you use bone meal on it is it generates another lilac there. So it keeps shooting out lilacs. So basically, you're trading one piece of bone meal for one lilac, which you can turn into magenta. So basically, you're trading one white dye for one uh, magenta dye. So it's a good deal. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create magenta dye. So the thing about magenta is that you can't use it to create other dyes, but you can use other dyes to create magenta. So I'm just going to quickly show you that. So how you create uh, magenta is through... Let's see, you put lilac there, and because lilac is too high, it creates two of the magenta dyes. So you're actually getting a pretty good deal because it takes one bone meal to create uh, a lilac, and then you get two of this dye out of the lilac, which is pretty good. And the other one is allium, so obviously one allium creates one magenta dye. And then the colors that can create magenta are Purple and pink will create magenta. And then the other one I believe is blue, white, and red. And there you go. So basically two reds, one blue, and one white creates four magenta dyes. So that's basically all the ways that you can get magenta dyes in Minecraft. So that was how to create magenta dyes in Minecraft. So basically there's four different ways. Two of them are by using dyes to create magenta. And the other ones are through lilac and through allium, which are two flowers, of course. So I hope that was helpful for you guys in understanding how to get that dye. Um, and also... I'm doing a lot of videos on dyes in general, so there should be a playlist that you can check out if you're interested in any of the other dyes or how to get bone meal to create the farm to get these dyes. So uh, if you like this video, please give me a like. If you want me to keep producing content, please give me a subscribe. You can always leave a comment. I appreciate that and always read them. And stay classy, YouTube. This is Rock.